All right, we are here at my outdoor bin, and you'll notice I've got another bin over here. This is just some uh, uh, coffee that I get at Starbucks for my regular compost. And underneath here is a bin that has compost in it that black soldier fly larvae have kind of invaded and they're doing their thing. So I just wanted to talk about kind of the difference between, you know, red wriggler, compost worm, uh, vermicomposting, and then a black soldier fly larvae. So we're just gonna lift this up and warning. I, I like worms, I like seeing them, these not so much. So <laughs> now's your chance to escape uh, before I lift this up, it's not too bad. But what you see here are black soldier fly larvae. And I'll put some on here. These are the larvae of uh, black soldier flies. And black soldier flies are mimic flies. Um, they are flies, but they mimic a uh, mud dauber wasp. Um, and what they do is they lay their eggs near compost. And I've got a tarp here so that when I open this up, these guys will all kind of land on the tarp and then I can put them back in. Um, but they lay their eggs and about four days later or so they'll turn into um, the larvae. And the larvae basically are in a mad dash to eat the compost um, or composting material, such as fruit, that kind of thing. Um, and they use that to uh, fuel their growth. And at that stage, the larvae stage lasts about 18 to 36 days or so. And then they go into a, a post-feeding or a pre-pupa stage where they go and try and hide in a dark place away from the compost. Um, so you may see them escaping. And that's what those guys on top probably were. They were probably in the pre-pupa uh, stage. And that stage lasts about two weeks or so. And from there, then they turn into the, the um, black soldier flies. So they go pre-pupa, then pupa, where they're just kind of sitting there. Um, so right away, you can kind of see the difference between, you know, this compost kind of flaking. And you can see, almost like you can see the individual granules that come out the end of the worm. And this one is much more of a... I don't know, kind of like a, a paste, but it's also clumped together. Um, and you can see the black soldier fly larvae in there. Um, so they are kind of like a companion composters. The uh, black soldier fly larvae will, uh, if you have a compost, and they're all throughout the United States, if you have compost, you probably have seen black soldier fly larvae. The, the flies themselves uh, they don't fly around a lot and land on everything. Um, they uh, just, they're, you, you might see them around the, the bin, but they can only drink liquid. So they're not like a fly where they land on your food and regurgitate on it and spread disease. In fact, they, they're not a vector for disease. But the black soldier fly do a fantastic job on compost um, or on organic matter, turning it into compost. Not so much the bedding, the worms are better at the bedding. But the thing with black soldier flies is they're putting all that energy into um, making their larvae bigger and bigger and bigger and then turning into a fly. That takes an enormous amount of energy. So if you have, you know, a bin full of organic waste and black soldier flies come in and you have black soldier fly larvae, then they say the waste will go down by volume about 50%, whereas a red worm you know, it's growing till it gets its size and then it could stay its size for its lifespan of one to five years. So it's not, it's processing the food and getting nutrients, but it's not going from a tiny egg into a full fly and then repeating that process a lot. So you're gonna have more volume of castings per organic matter than you will with the black soldier fly larvae. But the black soldier fly larvae's castings are actually called frass and the worms who also eat their castings over and over again will will eat the frask of the um black soldier fly and let me see if i can find some more um the lighter they are probably and smaller obviously probably the the earlier they are in their lifespan you can see them just moving around
but they are, if you see some black soldier fly larvae in your worm bin, that's not a problem. In fact, if I were to dig around here some more, I'd probably find some. Um, but if you have a bin of mostly black soldier fly larvae, their metabolism um, can heat up the bin upwards of, you know, in the 90s, high 90s, and the worms won't like that, so they'll kind of um, disengage from it. But what I did with this bin was I had com regular compost, and what I like to do is I'll put it in my 20 gallon containers and then kind of let them um, sit for a few months before I throw it into my garden. Um, and inevitably what I find is the black soldier flies will come over from uh, the compost or they'll find it and they will um, start doing even more work on the compost. So I, I love them down here in zone 9B in Florida. Now the black soldier fly uh, larvae are also good for feeding chickens, fish, um, even pigs, certainly reptiles. So if you're doing black soldier fly or you're thinking about black soldier fly larvae uh, compost bin, yes, you'll lose the volume, but then you get all that back in a larvae that you can then feed to your chickens, uh, lizards, fish, whatever. And certainly here, here in Florida, um, I'll see a lot of lizards around this bin as uh, I think they're coming in and, and taking some snacks. So I hope you learned something about um, black soldier fly larvae and the difference between maybe um, composting with them and composting with the uh, red worms or red wigglers. They certainly are complimentary. Um, certainly not a big deal to have them in here. In fact, it's 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 uh, beneficial um, as long as, again, it's not a mostly black soldier fly larvae bin that will heat it up. But I think that will about do it as far as black soldier fly larvae. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or if you have some more information to pass, um, would love to hear it. But just wanted to kind of give a, a comparison of worm composting and black soldier fly larvae composting. Hope everybody's doing well and happy vermicomposting everybody.